Hi guys, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today I'm going to talk about the monthly flying stars for the month of the wood rabbit, the Yi Mao month, which starts on March 6th and goes all the way until the 4th of April. So that will be the wood rabbit month. Now, for those of you who are completely new to feng shui and who don't know anything about flying stars, don't worry, it's super easy. Uh, in order to follow what I'm saying here, all you need to do is um, just stand in the center of your home or your office, use a compass, and then just quickly check where's the south, where's the north, the east, the west, the southwest, and so on. And then you just follow the guidance that I give you for each of these sectors. That's it. Yeah, that's as easy as it gets. All right. Now, for the month of the wood rabbit, we have a few uh, very, very nice uh, areas in your home. Some of them do have slight side effects, but as always, just set priorities and then just go for whatever it is that you need to achieve without worrying too much about the side effects. So first off, we start with the Southwest, which has the number four monthly stars. Star, And this is um, a star that has two functions. On one hand, it acts as a peach blossom star. So this makes you very likable, very attractive. So if you're single and looking and um, you want to find a partner out there, then just do all of those activities from the Southwest. Yeah, If you're on a dating app, then do all the swiping from the Southwest. Uh, or, you know, call the crush that call your crush and ask him out while you're in the Southwest text message from the Southwest, all of these things. Or if uh, ideally, if you can sleep in the Southwest, also sleep in the Southwest. Yeah, that will just increase your likability overall. It's very, very good for these kind of um, uh, activities or purposes. Now, it's also an academic star. So if you are not necessarily looking um, if you're not on the market for a relationship, uh, you can use this sector if you need to um, do some research, focus your atten attention on uh, learning a new skill, or maybe you have children, you can put them in the Southwest sector to improve their ability to do their homework, to absorb new knowledge faster. So anything that has to do with learning, studying, uh, focusing, or doing some concentrated work can be done from the Southwest sector. It's especially good for learning because together with the annual number one here, this is an excellent uh, energy combination for learning. So this is really, really good. Now, the next sector we're looking at is the West sector, which has the monthly number nine. And the nine star is one that generally brings a lot of hope uh, brings a feeling of happiness. It makes you want to celebrate life a little bit more. So if you've been a bit depressed or if you've been feeling under the weather or just really not so happy with yourself or with your life, spend more time in the West sector um, and you will naturally absorb these types of energies. It's also a great sector uh, when it comes to business, business partnerships, for example, anything to do with with increasing your own value self development yeah or maybe you want to do a training or something like that to augment your own skill set you can also use the west sector for that but it's more to do with business partnerships new product projects launch a new project uh launch a new campaign anything like that do it from the west sector it brings you um um the opportunity opportunity to celebrate things yeah so whether it's uh, the opportunity to celebrate yourself or celebrate a launch or celebrate a new business partnership, um, anything like this goes, all right? Now, the next one, uh, the next good sector is uh, the Northeast where we have the number one. So the number one is a nobleman star and uh, this star is always good when we need help with something. It's also great for your sales team, for your marketing team, PR team, all those who are in the front lines and actually need to work with others and need to make cold calls or need to connect with clients. So it's all about connecting people um, or whenever you need any type of help. Yeah, Noble people are those who can be our mentors or they can just be people that we call when we need help with anything, really, not just in our job, but also in our personal life. 
Um, so this is a good sector, again, also for business. Um, if you want to do financial planning from here, that's really, really good as well. You can also use the West for this. So anything financial related, both the West and the Northeast are good sectors. Um, and again, if you just want to maybe expand your market, uh, reach out to a different market into a different uh, maybe country even, you can also do this from the Northeast. Now, um, another sector that's really good is the Southeast where we have the monthly number six. And this one pertains to authority and status and, and career progression. So if you are, uh, if you are employed, and you want to um, advance in your career, then use this particular sector. It gives you the edge and it gives you uh, the ability to speak with authority. People will listen to you if you actually sit in this sector and, and use this sector uh, more for anything that's related to delegating work or, or just generally trying to convince other people of your opinion. Now, if you do not have a job, if you're looking for a job, again, use the Southeast. Anything related to, to job search, yeah? So whether that's writing your CV and then kind of like looking online at the at, uh, at websites um, of companies whom to send that CV to, maybe connecting with headhunters, then actually sending the CV out. Anything related to job search, that all the way down to the interview, take do these things from the Southeast sector, right? Now, there's a slight risk here with the number three. So if we have the number three and the number six together, that can sometimes indicate uh, accidents that involve your limbs or so arms and legs. So you may just trip when you're doing sports or you may injure um, your arm or whatever in tennis or whatever it is that you do, just be a little bit careful especially if you use this sector ex ex extensively. Now, we do have the Northwest sector here with the number eight, and the number eight is still considered a wealth star, although I'm not really using it that much anymore because it's very much expiring. And from next year onwards, we are not using the number eight at all anymore, or at least not for any particular wealth-related activities. Now, the number eight, if you want to use the Northwest sector, uh, pertains to cash flow, uh, but um, it's cash flow generated through really, really hard work. Yeah, and um, we like to uh, work smart rather than work hard. So that's why this number eight is not so suitable anymore. In particular, in its current location here, the northwest, where uh, we also have a five. The five yellow annual star is not the best star. So that's why I'm not really including the Northwest sector in one of the good sectors for this month. But if you are not uh, planning on hammering, drilling or doing any renovation work in the Northwest and you just want to make sure that you uh, tap into as many opportunities that are out there, then just position yourself, position your desk there. But it requires a lot of effort for you to make uh, to make this work and and to actually work really hard and long hours. All right, so these are the positive sectors for the month. Now, having a look at the negative uh, area, so we have the north here with the number three. Now, the number three traditionally is the argument star, and it can bring legal problems or disputes and arguments. That's why we don't really like it. However, uh, in the combination with the nine, it can actually also help you study. Right. So um, if you cannot use the Southwest sector, you may be able to use the North sector instead for studying and research. It's also a great sector if you are a little bit shy and you need to learn to just um, get out of your comfort zone a little bit and actually speak in front of others, speak in public, maybe or negotiate better. Uh, then the North would be a good sector. It will give you the courage to do it. Yeah, it's very, it may be very uncomfortable, but it does give you the courage to act. Now, then in the South, we've got the monthly number two. And traditionally speaking, the monthly number two or the two star in general is an illness star. Now, going forward, it's actually, it does become a wealth star and uh, it's very, very good for business owners. So the South is actually a very good sector if you are a business owner, especially because we also have a combination of 10 here. 
with the eight annual star. So if you are a business owner and you are looking into uh, asset acquisition, slow but steady ac asset acquisition, or you want to tap into really big opportunities that do not manifest overnight, but it takes a lot of work to actually uh, get everything in place, then the South would be, would be a good sector. If you're not a business owner and you're still a little bit too scared of the number two because it is considered an illness star, then I would say avoid this sector, especially if your health is not great. So if you are an elderly person, uh, if you have a small infant in the house, if you suffer from any sort of chronic issue, or if you're pregnant, then I would say avoid the South sector. Um, if this is your bedroom and you cannot avoid it, then um, do not worry too much. As long as you do not activate it with any water, any fire, no hammering, no drilling, you should be fine. Yeah, You don't need to worry too much about it. And then lastly, we've got the East where we have the five, the monthly number five. And again, the five yellow is also called the Calamity Star. And as the name implies, it's not the best energy to have. Now, I would say just avoid this sector for any mission critical activities. Yeah, so do not take any important decisions in this sector. Do not sign any agreements here. Do not have important meetings in the east of your office if you can avoid it. And especially with the number two here, this is a combination that can really lead to financial loss. So don't don't do any sort of financial related or money related activities in the east uh, during this wood rabbit month right so uh, we want to be a bit careful now if this is your bedroom again if you can't avoid it if you can't move to another bedroom don't worry as long as you do not trigger the energy you will be fine and by triggering i mean do not do any hammering no drilling no uh, no fire here, no water here, unless uh, it has been advised by a feng shui master with specific dates and times, right? But otherwise you avoid it here and then you should be fine. All right. So this is the flying stars forecast for the month of the wood rabbit. So again, that's 6th of March until 4th of April. I hope you're all able to make use of the energies that are coming our way. If you do have any comments, any questions, just put them in the comment section below. You can also always email me. Uh, my email address in the note is in the notes to this video. And please hit that like button, share the video with anybody who may be interested uh, in this sort of subject matter. And please subscribe to my channel. I'd be super grateful. See you soon.